it's time for pretty good news from the Wisconsin Maritime Museum. Welcome aboard. I am Shane Lee of the Wisconsin Maritime Museum in Manitowoc. My museum features a lot of information about shipbuilding in the 18 and 1900s. Today, we've got canoes that will take us all the way back to the 100s. The oldest shipwreck in the Midwest can be found at the Kenosha Public Museum. The 1,850-year-old dugout canoe was found in Lake Mary in Twin Lakes, Wisconsin in 1996. I got there and they had kept it in the water on the shore and it was the front end of a dugout canoe. It was very obvious that it was a dugout canoe. Uh, what was interesting about it is there were no metal tool marks. All other canoes discovered in Wisconsin to that point had shown metal tool marks. The Lake Mary canoe shows only charring where the builders burned away the inside to carve with stone tools. That makes the canoe the only prehistoric shipwreck in the state. The canoe is three to four inches thick solid oak. That means it was too heavy to portage and would stay in the water at all times. They would have canoes on each sides of the lakes and then they just go back and forth. Uh, and that canoe would just be on that lake, uh, which was you know, a pretty efficient way of doing it. Dugout canoes were also in fashion along the Hudson River Valley in New York. That was home to the Mohicanuck, or Mohican people, long before they relocated to Wisconsin. The canoes, of course, stayed behind. Native nations are usually nomadic. You travel in your area, but you travel from like, you know, you might, your winter camp might be different from your spring camp. And so we would use this as a form of transportation, but also a, for, a form of hunting and gathering for our people. The more common canoe in Wisconsin would be birch bark canoes. Unlike the one piece dugout canoe, birch bark vessels are made of hundreds of pieces. The much lighter vessel could be carried relatively easily. The American Indian um, just moved way more than we think. Uh, they were very mobile people, uh, especially when they were doing trade. Because they contain perishable materials, it is unknown when Indians began making canoes from birch bark. Just because the vessels were light, that does not mean they were fragile or small. Some of these birch bark canoes that they had built were 36 feet long and eight feet wide in the middle. They're, they're basically semis <laughs> of the time. That size and durability made birch bark canoes vital to the fur trade. French trappers and traders often used the canoes for transport. Joyce has followed in their wake with his own canoe. I've paddled these things and I've studied them as well. Um, it's, I've been fortunate in that I work in museums. I know the feeling, Dan Joyce. Working in museums has some pretty good perks. For more information about the Kenosha Public Museums, you can go to their website at museums.kenosha.org. In this week's featured artifact, Manitowoc artist Dave DeZeo talks about his favorite piece of the museum. Hi, my name is Dave DeZeo. I'm a native of Manitowoc. I just moved back here after 30 years. And my favorite exhibit at the Maritime Museum is this mock-up uh, model of the Medusa Challenger. The reason is, is because it reminds me of when I was young. I used to see the ship come in and out of the port here in Manitowoc and it brings back memories. It was interesting to see the big ship come in. They'd open up the bridges for it, and it was impressive. And just looking at this model, the model is impressive. And yeah, I remember the vastness of it and uh, seeing it out on the lake, uh, wishing I could be riding on it someday. Thanks, Dave. We will bring in another guest star for our joke of the day. The birthday girl this time is my Aunt Linda. Let's hear it. What kind of boat has candy in the middle? A piñata! <laughs> Thanks, Aunt Linda. That joke, like most things in life, makes me really hungry. Just a reminder, no matter how bad things may seem, at least it is that magic time of year where they have pumpkin spice everything. And that is pretty good news. <laughs>